I just want to know more about it. It's I just really love cool. that music. You know, do, it gets do, me do, 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 do. I love it. Yeah, that build. <laughs> so we're joined by Maya from Studio MDHR. Great to have you with us. Thank you so much for coming in. And I'm super excited about this game, probably more than most other games, just because it's, it's just so fresh. It feels so, which is weird because it's, quite old style, but it <laughs> yeah. feels so fresh and different. So what's happened since uh, what's happened since E3? Yeah, well, thanks for having us here. We're very excited to be at Gamescom this year with a brand new demo. Um, so we're wrapping up development right now. And as you are probably aware, Cuphead is a run and gun platformer mm -hmm. um, where you can run, duck, jump, shoot, parry. And we also have other levels where you can play as a shmup. Ah, okay. Oh. So J Julia's going to talk to you in a second about the animation stuff. I'm really keen to know more about how the gameplay works and what the kind of gameplay influences are on Cuphead. Right. So we were heavily inspired by games of the late 80s, early 90s mm. of retro retro games. So um, Gunstar Heroes, Contra, Mega Man, um, and games of that era. Yeah. And our type we were talking about earlier yeah. as well. You mentioned yes. that as a big influence. Yeah. So that. there are some levels where you do a play as a shmup. Yeah, oh, that's, that great. messes with your, you know, when you're like, you can't quite understand what's happening, but your body's just like going into like auto mode. Fear yeah, reaction. it's like using the force, I always think. It's that zen it's moment where you just tune It's too fast. You it. can't actually process it. It's just really, really quick. But it's, you're, just, it's you're, in that, you're in that zone. Um, so I suppose um, we have to talk about the actual style of it as well, because, it, I mean, talk about the process in creating the look of Cuphead, because it's, it's pretty unique. Yeah, so every single game, every single frame in the game is yeah. hand drawn uh, with pencil and paper and it hand inked as well on paper. So wow. and also all the backgrounds are watercolor paintings oh my and goodness. there's nearly three hours of custom jazz music. Custom jazz. Yes. Yes, if it honestly I love feels that. like Maya that everything in this game, which is unusual for a video game, has been handcrafted. Yeah. Right? There's like real artisanship gone into this. Right. Yeah, we really wanted to maintain, uh, be authentic to the era of yeah. the 1930s. I mean, because obviously, like older cartoons were a, a little bit weird, <laughs> a little bit strange. Um, and obviously, you know, seeing Cuphead, there's a certain, you know, there's is very much like that. Was that kind of always the the idea from the start to kind of keep that? Bit most weirdness? definitely, most definitely, it was a draw for us, especially to. Um, it, it was that surrealistic mm. approach to animating where there were no boundaries. Yeah. So we really loved the idea where Felix the cat could, you know, rip off his tail and use it as a match to light something on fire. Yeah. <laughs> So it w that was the draw to basically making very wacky, mm. crazy bosses and enemies. Because that sort of sounds like, when you say it like that, that sounds a little bit horrific in some sort of way, doesn't it? But it makes sense of that era. That it was it's super weird. Pretty right? resourceful as well. I know. I mean, if you run out of matches... You and we're seeing gameplay on screen here. Now, you can totally see that, that old school shoot em up gameplay. Now, I grew up on those games, and I remember them being tough and punishing. Tell yeah. us about the kind of difficulty level in Cuphead. Yeah, so it, it was designed to be challenging, but we also have some modern nods mm -hmm. to make it fair. So your progression is saved, so every time that you sit down to play the game, yeah. you're not starting all over again. Yeah. You have infinite lives, yeah. and when playing in co-op, you also have the ability to revive your partner if they die off screen, if you catch them while they're floating off screen. Yeah. Um, we have also designed the game with multiple modes. So there is easy and normal mode. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then once you complete the game in normal mode, we unlock New Game Plus. Oh, for right. That is new finely game tuned plus. for Elite. Which New Game Plus always sounds really friendly, but sounds it's innocent, not, doesn't it? <laughs> not a friendly <laughs> not. thing. But um, I think, is it, is it right that you can actually switch between the different kind of uh, like difficulties for each level? Yes, so you can play in normal mode for one level, and if, you're, if you don't have much experience on the next one, you can switch it back down to simple. Just and you get completely totally rottenly you. beaten, you're like, I'm not quite new game played much. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, not yet. I can't wait to play it in couch co-op. That's going to be great, right? Yes. Yes, no, definitely. It's um, it's a little more chaotic on screen. Yeah. It's kind <laughs> of a bullet hell. Um, but like I said, your your partner can pop in and pop out at any time by pressing any key throughout the level. The boss health, it does scale up a little bit when you're sure. in co-op mode, but it also scales back down if you've lost your partner. Great. Okay. I love the fact that one of our biggest cheers at our E3 press briefing was for the release date of yes. Cuphead. So why yes. don't you remind everyone what that date is? <laughs> yes. So Cuphead comes out on September 29th on Xbox One, Windows 10, and Steam. Excellent. And people here at Gamescom this week are going to be able to play it on the Xbox booth as well. So that's fantastic. That's Maya, cool. thank you so much for thank coming Thank you so in. much for really having us. Thank you. It. Right.